Okay, guys, how's it going? Um, I'm here in the Orca, uh, the Scratch that, Hellcat. And, uh, yeah, we'll do some landings in the Hellcat. I'll show you what this bird's all about. This bird is uh, definitely not my favorite. Uh, probably my least favorite of them all, to be honest with you. It has a nice, nice, really nice feature where the co-pilot can see uh, forward looking infrared. I don't have any place to store. Very nice if you got a friend flying with you. This Hellcat has a lot of uh, characteristics that make it a rather difficult aircraft to fly in an advanced flat model. Um, has a really long and low tail, so very, very easy to strike on the ground. Uh, and in many cases, I'll have to abandon my Hellcats in the AO because I've struck them, uh, tail struck them. Standby, master wind for landing. Also, this thing is really slippery. It doesn't like to uh, doesn't like to bleed off energy. Um, does not like to bleed off energy at all, and that's because you can't really fly it out of trim that much. It's very very uh, adversely affected by out of trim flight. So, auto hover's coming in for the last little bit. Go go go. Okay, he's out. I really gotta think about what I'm doing here with this Hellcat. I'm not used to flying it that much. Okay. So on that last uh, landing, I was talking about it doesn't like to fly out of trim. I'll show you that here when I get over the ocean a little bit more altitude. Uh, so I kind of was just coming in really, really easy. This helicopter, your, your best bet is going to be those, those nice, wide, sweeping Something's turns where you bleed your energy, the bleeding energy turn. Um, so here, I'm going to fly this thing out of trim and watch what happens. So we'll just get going forward flight. I see, okay, well, I'm coming up to my AO. I want to, I want to, I want to uh, fly out of trim, put the air, air, airframe into the, uh, create a bunch of drag. And it just gets, it's just, just very squirrely. One more. Doesn't be, seem to be as bad as I remember it. But, uh, Definitely, uh, definitely a handful when you're trying to fly it out of trim. Might, uh, might be a little bit more exaggerated when you uh, have more weight in it. But well, it's it's actually handling a little bit better than I remember for some reason. Uh, maybe it could have been due to an update, or maybe it's just uh, I've gotten better at flying since the last time I tried uh, doing that in this aircraft. So we'll play around with this a little bit more and see, because right now I'm really liking this. Yeah, it was one of my biggest things about this helicopter is you couldn't really fly it out of trim until you got to slower speed. But I just kind of essentially proved myself wrong. So, we'll, uh, we got here a bear cut. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Alright, they're both kind of south. Tower 3 area. This is a big helicopter, too. You got a big, big main rotor. So big, in fact, that, you know, um, even though it's kind of like a small body, uh, big wide main rotor, um, makes it hard to get into those small places, so you really gotta, really gotta consider that. Uh, in many cases, your best bet is just gonna be a low hover, keeping your main rotor above all the obstacles. Uh, passengers might sustain a little bit of damage on their way out to their legs, but um, sometimes that's uh, preferable to, uh, you know, Losing your helicopter to surrounding obstacles. Another weird thing about this helicopter is that um, it likes to nose down when you add power. So when you go to take off, this thing noses over. I don't know what it is. If it's just a weird center of gravity thing with this helicopter. But uh, I find myself pretty. Uh, consistently holding aft pressure on the cyclic to keep the nose up and the sink flying straight and level. Um, especially when I'm adding power. So, not so much uh, at speed, which is good. Alright, so we're going to pop over the castle here. And I'm just going to kind of do a nice sweeping turn, bleed off that energy, find that auto rotative descent, auto rotative state. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it down right over there. 
Okay, bring it over. Not too bad. I hear somebody taking shots at me. Hopefully, he remains inaccurate. Put my auto hover on there, and it tried to pitch back. Got my tail hanging out back there. Got to be careful of that. Go, go, go. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, somebody's shooting at me from Tower 3, I think. Got... Oh, man, what a freaking RPG shot. Oh, I'm not even angry. That was impressive, I gotta say. Yo. Yo, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, use a legit arm. Use a legit RPG. It's so... It's so funny you saw that and said that. Ender, don't respawn. I'm gonna try to revive you. Oh, no, it's too late, man, already. <laughs> Wow, that was uh, incredibly impressive and makes me a little freaked out that that guy's somewhere in the AO and I have to contend with his RPG accuracy now. Not cool. Not cool at all. So he was over by the castle, Tower 3, coastal area, which means now <laughs> I'm uh, going to totally steer away from that entire area because that, that RPG is just way too good. Dare I say impossible, but... It's Arma. Nothing is impossible. Oh, okay, I, I don't even know what I was talking about. Um, uh, I was probably talking about the way the nose drops on this thing. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just so mind blown by that freaking RPG. I can't even think straight right now. Okay, power's coming in. Pulling back on the uh, cyclic right now to keep the nose up. Be. Kind of just letting the helicopter drift yeah, over there. I can do a. So, this is my low in ground effect hover power setting. So, right now I'm not even messing yeah, with the power. I'm just kind of floating around on my little cushion of air. Bring it over here. Slightly more pedal pressure than I was using before. Use my cyclic to maintain my track over the ground. Ah! Ah, that guy's freaking me out! Stop freaking me out! Magnus! They went over this way. Oh, thank you. Because of that, I got to look low, too. Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, yeah, cut this video off for now you. until I can uh, get some passengers up in the air for you. I'll be right back. Oh, Magnus is showing off. That's oh, not some bad flying. I like it. I like when people can do little maneuvers in a tight spot. It's good. It's really good. Until that mohawk spawns in and crushes him. Be careful of those guys who took you out of still alive. Oh, I got a passenger. Okay, well, I got two passengers. All right, we'll, we'll just go now. Okay, power's in. Uh, pulling aft and left on the cyclic. A right pedal there. Kind of a quick rotation. Clear the power lines, okay, power's coming in to climb up and out. Again, I'm still pulling back on the cyclic. Nose wants to nose over. A lot of times in this uh, condition I'm pushing forward to keep the nose from popping up, but for whatever reason in the Hellcat, it's a little bit uh, opposite. Must be a center of gravity thing. Okay, we'll bring it in here. I always find myself coming in high to the AO with the Hellcat just because of its weird tendencies, and I just don't really am not as good at flying this as I ought to be. So we'll see what happens here. Oh, right, I said I was going to stay away from that blue four guy, didn't I? So bring it on over here, probably land in the rocks behind the hospital. There, did you hear that? A bunch of energy just went into the uh, main rotor head. Still holding back on the cyclic to keep the nose up. Here's what happens when I neutralize my cyclic. Nose pitches over. Okay, somebody's shooting me. Oh, man, I 
I wish I knew where that was coming from. It's hard to say. Coming from Tower 1, maybe. Auto hover's coming on. Okay, guys, you're going to have some tall grass here for concealment. Use it wisely. Go, go, go. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I think I just got those people killed. That sucks. Another asshole mohawk trying to freak me out. Came in, flew right over my head, it seems like. And he crashed. Good for him. Asshole. Okay, yeah, I, I'm i fairly certain those people I just dropped off got killed, uh, unfortunately. As soon as I landed, there was a guy shooting at me. Well, surprisingly not. Mm, they took my advice and used tall grass wisely. There really is always people back there. I don't know what it is about that spot, but people like to lurk around in that in those bushes. Okay, so power's out. I'm a little ass cyclic here as I bleed off some energy in the, the old-fashioned way. Get a little S-turn action going here. Kills my altitude. Kills my airspeed. Okay. Energy has been erased. Now I can just air taxi over to a nice spot right in front of spawn. Alright. Now remember, you got the big old long tail, and all these helicopters, all of them, hover with a nose up attitude. About three to five degrees nose up, and almost all these, all the helicopters. Um, which means that now your tail is hanging even lower. So, look at, you can see in the top there, my attitude indicator, I got, yeah, about a about a five degrees nose up attitude to hold this hover. And that's just because of the way the main rotor's rigged. Rigged uh, five degrees uh, angled down. Um, so to counteract that, you have to five degrees nose up. You know what I'm saying? So thinking about that now, think about the tail. Now the tail's angled down five degrees, and it's already a low hanging tail. So really, what that means to you as a pilot is that if you find yourself flaring to land, Thanks. you have to make your sight picture a little bit higher than, uh, than you might initially uh, imagine or think. Um, you, you can't do that low flare. You're going to get a tail strike every time. So you gotta you got to keep a nice, uh, nice high Thanks. sight picture. Let's see if I can demonstrate here. So this is the sight picture you're looking for. Nice and high, nice and high. Until, until you uh, bleed off all that speed and you have almost no forward airspeed. Don't crash into me, dude. Until you have no, he's gonna try and beat me over here. That's funny. Yeah, until you have no forward airspeed, like right now. You can't set it down. Maybe with a little bit of forward airspeed, you might bump the tail a little bit, and that's permissible. But if you slam the tail, you're going to lose it. So just, just really, really, especially in the Hellcat, and and uh, and the Orca even, um, to a lesser degree, but still greater than all the other helicopters. Um, you have to really be thinking about the tail. So the Orca and the Hellcat, your biggest contenders for tail strikes. Most likely helicopters you'll find yourself striking the tail on the ground. So just, just remember that sight picture. Keep it high. Keep it high on the flare if you find yourself in that situation. A lot of times I like to just kind of bring it in sideways. And then you can flare without... As long as you're flying sideways in a side slip, you can flare um, without worrying about the tail so much. So keep, keep that in mind. Alright, Caleb. 22, that's not bad. That's not bad, that's good. Okay. This helicopter wants to roll to the right for some reason. I just trimmed it out. Alright, we got a lot of friendlies over Tower 3. So, Caleb, stand by for landing, brother. Okay, it'll come down over the top of this hill. It's a nice big open area right there that I'm going to land at. It's about 2 3 o'clock now. A sniper, a high care. Okay, there it is. Now I could flare pretty easily, safely, flying sideways like this. 
Auto is coming in. Left side click. Caleb go. Ooh. Weird. Uh, all right. Not bad. Not bad. Take it. Get a little choppy right there. That was weird. Zoom. Nice. Okay, so yeah, kind of swept wide, uh, bled off uh, quite a bit of energy in the turn there. I kind of pitched back uh, pretty pretty uh, abruptly, um, probably a little bit more than I should have. Uh, so I didn't have as much speed as I wish I had had coming in. I prefer to keep a little bit of uh, a little bit of speed on the way in. Um, yeah, you know, the slower you go, the more uh, at risk you you are. Especially, I wasn't really. I was a. Uh, once I got in over those roofs, I was pretty straight in. And uh, you know, when you're coming straight in like that, you're just making yourself and your passengers an easy target. So it's nice to keep rotating, turning until that last few feet. The middle tower. Okay, until the next run. Okay, I'm back. Got some other helicopter pilots here. So they can take the other passengers. Just have one drop out. That's fine. They can go with the other helicopters. I really don't care. Hellcat's got a lot of power. Yeah, I think that's the, uh, Hellcat is doing a good job, though. Transporting yeah. people. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, well. I, mean, I mean, I bought it, so I might as well use it. Yeah, yeah, I just got a compliment. I must be doing something right. Um, so oh, I'm just pleasantly pleased. Man, I thought I just heard a snap raffle way out here. Well, I was saying the Hellcat. Hellcat has uh, quite a bit of power. Um, you can get a full load in this thing. Uh, I'd say the only adverse effect of a full load is you are much susceptible to settling with power. Uh, very, very big consideration when you're coming into an LZ. Um, so basically it just means keeping your uh, main rotor... God, who is shooting at me way out here? What an asshole. Keeping that speed up, zooming in over the roofs. Cut the gap, cut the gap, cut the gap. Okay. I spent a lot of money on this and I'm going to be able to get on. Go, go, go. Next 10, 20 seconds to so just be you guys. A little bit too much power pull there. If you're really good, you can sell it. Okay. I don't so, see that it will do it though. It will be um, <laughs> if you could do it. So with that landing, uh, you saw at the very, very last second there, I started to flare. Yeah, black fish on my helipad is not exactly easy. I started to flare and I or thought to myself, like, I'm going to tail strike and I kind of popped it back up a little bit. If you rewind to that last uh, landing, you might see that at the very last second, a little tiny, tiny pop up. Okay. Um, but that was uh, the difference between hitting my tail and not hitting my tail. Um, I've come to know from experience that you really, you really have to respect how low the tail hangs in this helicopter, and if you don't, it's going to bite you every time. So I'm, I'm honestly a little surprised I haven't already gotten a tail strike. Another good thing about the Hellcat is it does offer a pretty good. Uh, a decent amount of protection to its occupants and its pilot. Pretty good, uh, pretty good coverage for the pilot, I have to say. I don't get shot out of the Hellcat very often. A uh, nice, nice power setting here. It just kind of facilitate my uh, nice, easy descent into the AL. Well, Kick that pedal out. Hopefully I didn't just take that guy's head off. Get out my plane. I guess my way to hop out just here again. Alright. 
one more. Let's go. Kind of let the nose fall on its own there. A little left pedal. Now I'm pulling back on the cyclic. And we're climbing away. Here comes the fun part of trying to land this bird. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the controls to harmonize themselves. Oh, I don't believe it's gonna be feasible to land this back in spot. Trying to find where that is. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna have to trim it out. Okay, aircraft's trimmed out. Checking them out. A lot of friends over by Tower 3. Alright, that's where we're gonna bring it. Pilot land in Tower 5. Well, for one, there is no Tower 5, and two, uh, well, I, I'm assuming you're talking about Tower 4. Um, I'll try and get you as close as I can, man, but it's not going to be on top. Alright, if there is going to be a landing that gets me killed, it's going to be this one. But I'm not going to tell my passengers that. I'll just let them think I'm a confident pilot. Scouting it out, scouting it out. I think I already saw an enemy over there to the left. Auto hovers in. Go, go, go. Letting the nose drop. Power's full in. Accelerate, accelerate. Pop up and away. Keep it mostly low. Alright. You see that hill out there? I've heard some sniper fire coming from over there. And it definitely it's drawn my attention twice now. So I'm going to orbit. I'm going to find that guy and I'm going to mark him on the map. That was a pretty good landing. I felt felt really good about that. I was uh, pretty pretty concerned going into it, to be honest. That uh, it wasn't going to work out the way it did. But, uh, you know, it did. Um, I was expecting to go down down the road kind of towards the office building. But, uh, I don't know, I thought maybe I, I would be better off if I gave my passengers a little bit more cover uh, by landing next to those buildings. So that's what I did, and I think that I, they probably utilized it pretty well. I'm glad I didn't take any uh, major shots coming in or out of there. No, this guy's got a pretty big caliber gun, so if he points it up and shoots me. That's why I don't trust him. There he is. There he is, right there. Gonna get right above him. Auto hover on. One second, I'm coming in. Hey, uh, for anybody who's interested, I just uh, circled a sniper on the map. He's on the rocks over here by the coast, way, way behind the AO, uh, towards our spawn. So uh, just reference the map you'll see. And that, my friends, is crew resource management, or I guess in this case, team resource management. And it's going to be very curious to see if that sniper has a uh, wit for all to, uh, <laughs> I don't think I said that right, whatever, uh, smart enough to get on out of there and move, smart enough to give up his pride and know that he's been made. It's always hard when you got a, a nice little nook like that, a good little spot that nobody expects you in. Okay, kicking out the, the tail here, tilting the nose to the left. Okay, ooh. Jeez, all right. A little abrupt control maneuver movements. Oh, nothing I can't handle. Okay, all right. That was uh, one of those bumps I like to talk about when people hit you. All 
We're gonna go zoom in right past that sniper and I'm gonna see. Hey Steven Vivier, do you have a do you have a sniper rifle? No no. Okay, alright, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, I'm about this. Okay. Bring it under the power line, sliding right. Thanks for the right. Power's Thanks. coming in. Kind of keeping my rate of rotation down with a little bit of left pedal there until everything's neutralized on the pedals, and now we're just flying away. Up, up, and away. All right, so kind of offset from this guy a little bit. Just one pass, haul ass. We'll see if he's there. Uh, hopefully I can catch a glimpse of him. If I see him, and we obviously know he's there, and if I don't see him, I'm just going to blame him on the fact that uh, I was going too quick. I thought I saw something. Like a body that got despawned, maybe. Ooh. Jeez. Okay, guys, stand by for landing. Looks like we got some friends in Tower 2. Friends in Tower 5. Oh, damn. Don't jump. We're not high enough. Swing on around Tower 1. Hopefully nobody's on the roof. Auto hover's in. They're coming from straight behind, I'm pretty sure. Go, go, go. Again, straight behind. I'm not too worried about getting shot. Just uh, letting the helicopter eat the bullets on that one. Tracer's flying by, confirm what I was thinking. Uh, and the good news is, the board's still green. And I don't appear to be leaking fuel. So, uh, that's good. Andrew, we wait you. stable power setting. I'm kind of just frozen my wrist here on my joystick. Once I find the, the angles that work. Oh, now I'm having to adjust. Getting a little squirrely. Okay, I'm happy that the guy's no longer there. We got a pipe? I'm uh, about a uh, 20 seconds out if you're at spawn. Gonna make a nice sharp cut here. charging me. That's funny. I don't know why people do that. Just let me fly to you. It's all good. This guy from Phoenix is the rogue sniper still there. Because I'm trying to go for him. But I don't I, I just flew by and uh, I didn't I didn't see him when I flew by, but he might have known that I uh, made him out, so it's possible. I'll double check anyway. Okay, we got a full load this time. This will be the time I crash. For sure, for sure. Okay. Power's in. As usual, I'm holding back and left on the cyclic. Oh, the hotkeys for earmuffs is F1. F1 for earmuffs. I think it's going to be a Tower 3 vis... Uh, tower... Uh, I can't even remember what tower it is. Aircraft stream Tower 2 vicinity landing. Yep, okay. 
This one's gonna be a little, little bit outside the AO. He's still here. We're gonna swing There's wide left. Shots. We're gonna pop right down this hill onto that road that hugs the edge of the town. Though there is a vehicle there that uh, that just spooks me out. Okay, guys, uh, just saw an enemy down there. We're gonna uh, we're gonna pass on this LZ and find another one. Flying quite a bit out of trim right now. Always a little freaky in this helicopter. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, almost hit the tail on the ground there. Go, go, go. Uh, thinking really hard on that last flight, so I wasn't talking about it very much. I'm sorry. A lot of people in the helicopter, <laughs> and uh, I was definitely flying outside of my comfort zone there, um, uh, doing that out of trim flight, which uh, was uh, more of a handful in this helicopter than the others, at the very least even if it's more possible than I uh, initially led you to believe. I'm just going to kind of ride the hill here. I'll get down here, pedal turn to the right, kick out the tail, get it off and away from the ground. Add in the power. Power's coming out now. Decelerating. Land this side of the pavilion playing with the pedals, kind of doing uh, little jigs left and right, not really sure. I was just feeling it out, doing what felt good. And we're down. And they pretty much got slaughtered. No good. No good. I think this next one I'll bring right in over here. It's always a nice easy LZ. Pretty uh, decently uh, uh, concealed or covered. Richard, man, um, I'm here at base if you want to uh, fly back. Good. Power's coming in. There's a sniper on the rocks. Uh, Fleet's, uh, there's a sniper on the rocks close to us. Or close to you. It's on the peak, one of the peaks. Okay, there's the power pull. That's what I was looking for. Power's coming in. Are you kidding me, man? It's always when I start flying away that somebody wants to jump in. I God dang. Ugh. Can't ever just hop in when I'm right there. Always gotta ruin my flow. All right, we're off. There's some cases where I'll just fly away. Like if there was another helicopter there, I would have just kept going. Sometimes, for reasons even unknown to myself, I'll turn around. And really, I should. I never should. Okay, what did I say? I was gonna fly to the other side of the AO. I think I'll make that happen. I can do that. This hill, make sure I don't hit the rotors on these rocks. Abrupt power change with correlating abrupt pedal movement to the right in that case. Skim right over the top of this castle. Cut the power. Okay, starting to think about my landing, and an enemy hummingbird is going right where I was thinking of going, so we're gonna abort this one. Stand by, guys, stand by. Not yet, not yet. Hold up, hold up. Ah, damn, sorry. 
You know what that was? It was, it was, it was that damn hummingbird over there. Ah, I fucked these guys up. I feel bad. That wasn't supposed to happen. That was all bad. That hummingbird made it down, and that guy made a beeline straight for the beach. Just sprayed us. Um, I was running into an issue there with uh, settling with power. I uh, almost put it in the water there. Um, the only thing that saved me, my only saving grace, was, well, that, that, was, cool. was that I settled into a ground effect, and that's what kept me from hitting the deck there. And then once I settled into ground effect, I was able to uh, uh, regain all my control. Uh, yeah, it was pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. If I could have managed to get it down on the deck Let's there... Switch it down near Tower 3, alright? If I could have managed to get it down on the deck there, I probably would have been okay. And those guys wouldn't have gotten wiped out like they did. But that hummingbird came in and landed somewhere in the vicinity of here, possibly on the beach, judging by how quickly that guy responded to us. And he just had a beeline straight for the helicopter over here. So, unfortunate, but, you know, tactical errors are often made in times of war. I don't know why I said that. Kind of, kind of scanning the, uh, I was scanning the rocks there on the right. Hey, uh, say again, you need help with what tower? Roger that. I'll bring over these guys' tower to them. You guys, stand by for landing. Nice coordinated turns are always the best. And that guy's dead. He's dead for sure. That sucks. He shouldn't have done that. Auto hover's coming in. Aid in this last little bit. I know the tail's clear. Oliver, go. Eject. Uh, Oliver's stuck in that get out animation. I, just, I hate that about this helicopter. It doesn't even show him doing it, he just sits there like a dummy. It's not even his fault. I mean, it's kind of his fault, but it's not. Just always eject. Eject is always the best option. I just made a nice, smooth uh, power pullback. And as I was doing that, I was uh, adding a corresponding smooth aft cyclic input. Now I'm expecting the helicopter to start descending as I lose my speed. And there it goes, it's starting to go down. And then I'm going to start adding my power. And the nose is going to kick off to the right here by virtue of the added torque. That's a torque turn right there. Doing it by itself. And now it's all just on me to put the helicopter where I want it. You. <laughs> Cool, looks like my guys are helping over here. Still got some people over here on the beach from that uh, janky insertion I did that got everybody killed. And they're dead. So, beach is off limits.
beach is always off limits. There's always somebody along that road. I don't know what it is. It never fails. Um, yeah, I'm going to say this whole quadrant's probably packed. I might be able to squeeze in an insertion right here. Um, or right here would probably be my best bet, I'm thinking. Just gut feeling. Power's coming in, adding a little left pedal. Tiny bit of left side click, okay. Now I'm not, not fighting the uh, translating tendency as I add power. I'm kind of letting the uh, tail rotor blow me over here. Pulling back and left on the cyclic. Back and left on the cyclic. I'm holding my pedal input. All right, I'm easing my left pedal now to neutral. There's neutral pedal right there. Okay, and we're off. I'm gonna talk about holding these um, deflections or control inputs. You know, I said I'm holding left and aft on the cyclic. It's very, very, uh, very minute. You know, I'm probably like if you look at my joystick here on my desk, it's probably like one eighth to a quarter of deflection, one eighth to a quarter inch of deflection from its center point. This is very, very minuscule, but it's it's enough. So, okay, we're gonna whip around the castle. Stand by for landing, guys. Just saw a helicopter over there in the corner of my eye. Somebody's up there. Stand by for landing. Stand by. Okay, most of my energy's gone now. I can feel a helicopter coming into helicopter type physics instead of airplane physics. Auto hover. Watch that palm tree. Slide right. Go, go, go. Thanks for right. Not quite where I said I was going to put it, but just had a good feeling when I looked there. Three, four helicopter on the beach. Let's swing back around and see if I can recon any uh, activity over here moving towards that last LZ. Pretty much just looking at the streets right now to see if anybody's running across towards those guys. see anything. I'm okay with that. We'll head back. And if I had seen something, I would have just told them, hey, you guys got someone coming in from the beach. Uh, I would have tried to look at the map to figure out general uh, general heading, which I would have given in um, cardinal directions, you know, south, southeast. Yeah, yeah, heading back now, man. We're going to do the S turn this time. Bank right. A little abrupt. Way more abrupt than I need to be. I had to wrestle it down there, but did the trick. Didn't look pretty, though. Okay, we'll move into a side slip here. We'll fly right over their heads, set down right on the other side of them. That way they don't bump me. And I got power lines right over my head. Keep that in mind. Wait for this guy. We will be off. Probably land in the vicinity of those other guys. All right. I don't think anybody else is getting in. You okay? Let's go, guys. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm having a better time with Hellcat than I normally do. Uh, normally I'm just a total disaster when I try and fly this thing. I don't know if it's me talking about flying the Hellcat, you know, talking through everything. I'm, I'm thinking about everything I do before I do it. Uh, it might be helping me quite a bit in this case. Um, it's almost been a, uh, as much learning for me as it is uh, for you. Okay, recon is looking okay. Cut the power and cut it in right before that cliff. Oh yeah, listen to that. That's a good sound. I like that sound. 
power's in. Tilting away from direction of travel, auto hover's coming on. Modulating my power. Go, go, go. As those guys are getting out, I'm slowly, very, very slightly and slowly decreasing my power. Because if I kept it in, you just pops, you just pop up, you gain altitude, you start losing all that weight. Now all that power that was keeping you up is no longer burdened by the uh, the gravity, and uh, you just pop up, you, you gain more lift. You, know, you always got these four forces acting on the helicopter, you lift. Uh, opposes gravity and uh, thrust opposes drag. So thrust pointing straight ahead, lift pointing straight up, drag pointing straight back, and gravity pointing straight down. And if you think of those as arrows pointing out of the sides of your helicopters, those are called lift vectors. I talk about the lift vector a lot because it's uh, really the main one. Uh, the main rotor, it, it acts in the thrust and the lift vectors, but they're trade-offs. So the more lift you have, the less thrust you have. The more thrust you have, the less lift you have. So it's all a balancing act. Um, look at that. These power lines got taken out by someone. All right, there's the flare, keeping that high, high uh, sight picture. That way I don't hit the tail. Now that I'm at these slower speeds, I can pretty easily arrest my forward speed with a very minute movements. Okay, um, yeah, always think about your your vectors. Think about your vectors. Uh, imagine your helicopter is hanging at the bottom of a pendulum, and that is your lift vector. I always I don't I don't know what it is about thinking about the helicopter on the bottom of a pendulum that it just really helps me visualize I feel like the helicopter is hanging from its rotor all right so yeah yeah just uh you know again going back to that food for thought all right I'm gonna cut it out here guys um, might make a couple more recordings but this is getting to be pretty long so we'll uh we'll knock it off okay guys um, here for one or two more runs with you before I stop recording for the night. I'll probably keep uh, flying though. Uh, looks like I got a big uh, group here. Uh, nice uh, nice turnout from that last LZ. Nobody got killed, so I'm probably gonna bring in for landing right here next to the office building, uh, just just uh, beyond Tower 2. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll head out now. Magnus. So I was really close to that flag right there, and uh, oh, what is he doing? And so, and also I'm on, I'm kind of a very, very slab, a very slight <laughs> hill. So I was actually holding back and left on the cyclic before I even added my power. I was basically I already had the control inputs uh, uh, into the cyclic that I needed and the pedals that I needed to keep the uh, helicopter from you know, going straight into that flagpole. Okay, remember I said I was going to put it into that little area right right there near Tower 2. Got a lot of friendlies over there, unless they've been made, in which case we'll, uh, we'll figure something else out. But if I go over there and I see a bunch of dead bodies, we'll, uh, we'll look for something else, but uh, I have a pretty good feeling that will be alright coming in. So, power's coming out, pitching the nose back. I don't see any dead friendlies yet. Kind of try to keep an eye on my LZ here. Hear another helicopter behind me somewhere. Makes me a little nervous. Yeah, you see, I kind of just did a weave right there, a little S turn action again. Got a light pole there I'm going to have to watch out for. Taking shots from, I think, the left. Alright, thanks. Oh, damn it. Well, it was a little rough. I'm pretty sure I hit the tail, which is what caused the uh, helicopter to get destroyed. It didn't blow up though, so 
I guess we'll call that a win for now. And uh, I said I was going to do one more LZ or two, but since I just crashed the helicopter, I guess um, I will uh, I will call it for this one uh, here on the ground for the time being until I can get that thing repaired and up again. Wish me luck. Um, hope you learned a lot. Uh, I know I did. That was a pretty good little run on the Hellcat. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. I'm looking forward to flying it a little bit longer. Um, uh, yeah, okay, well, uh, as always, this is Ender. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.